So this is how this works. Inside all of these, in one form of another or another that doesn't look like this. This is for illustration purposes only. But there are two different metals. In this one, we have brass and steel. And then we have our we have our line coming in here. And here's our electrical contacts. That's our little switch. And you have to picture that this this is not just hanging in space over here. This is mounted inside that uh, temperature controlled switch. So this is a this is mounted in the station area right here. And we have a bimetal strip that has um, it's fixed on one side. And what happens when you have two different types of metals? They expand at different rates based on temperature. So when the temperature changes from its design closed contact position and temperature, as the temperature changes, let's say it's warmed up and this is, it's getting hotter and hotter, this bimetal strip begins to warp and, and it will warp out and eventually break those contacts right there and turn off whatever it's controlling with these wires right here. Whatever that's connected to is going that circuit breaks and turns off whatever device that it is a safety for or it or it stops the defrost on the on a heat pump. So that's how that works. It's a bimetal strip and it doesn't look like this inside of there, but that is a good representation of what happens. The one thing to know is these are not instantaneous. There's a little bit of a travel time here, so this might this might break at 100 degrees Fahrenheit, break open, but then it then this has got as things cool, this metal's got to to come back to shape and straight up and down to make that contact, and it might be 80 degrees that it closes. So there's a a little bit of a uh, lag there in temperature lag between the opening and closing a lot of times on the on them it will sit it'll say 100-80 which means it it breaks at 100 and and makes it 80 so you'll you'll get to learn that and we'll discuss that a little bit in another class all right so so now this is where this makes a little bit more sense this indicates our bimetal strip right here. So as it heats up, it, it pushes those contacts apart in this one. And as this one heats up, it pushes them closed. And as it cools, that bimetal strip bends back, closes this one, this one bends back and opens up. Hopefully that makes a little bit more sense to you. No matter what type of switch it is, this symbol indicates a temperature controlled switch. And again, this shows the normal, whenever you see them, they're in the nor their normal position. And you, you just need to know that what the uh, temperature is that these make and break at. So you can determine physically what's happening because the schematic diagram, again, just shows it in its normal position. A transformer. This is where we take in, uh, we have our 240 volts in and it drops it down to 24 volts for a control voltage. That is just about the universal symbol for a transformer. You may not see this little line in between it, in between it but these, these again are in every piece of equipment that you're going to run into. So it's usually 240 volts in, 24 volts out or 120 volts in on the gas furnace and 24 volts out.